isn't that wonderful that's the headline for today giving to the needy be careful not to practice your own righteousness in front of others to be seen by them if you do you will have no reward from your father in heaven so be careful how you give not in a way of show off so that you get reward or you don't get reward it all depends on your attitude of giving so there's attitude of giving even if you pretend to be doing it in a holy way god is with our heart so you have to be careful the attitude that follows your giving is what brings a reward to you so when you give to the needy do not announce it with trumpets as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets to be honored by others you know um let's continue to be honored by others truly i tell you they have received their reward in full hmm. but when you give to the needy do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing you know everything about bible is more like a proverb so which means you don't have to flaunt what you're giving just give you know quietly you don't have to you don't have to let the whole world or your neighbor know that this is what you're giving um then it says so that your giving may be secret then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you there are people that sometimes when you just just like this festive period they are neighbors i've seen i think one person did it to me once and up to today i don't even know who did it in my former residence someone just dropped a a bag like a um, paper bag paper bag full of food stuff all sort of you know all sorts of groceries and i'm like wow who is this i love to be grateful i was trying to be thankful but i wouldn't i couldn't even find who, do, who did that <clears throat> that's the kind of giving that god wants you to do like just give give you know secretly like let it be between you and god you don't have to make a loud noise about your giving the lord will help us if we have been doing anything wrongly the lord will help us some people in this festive period they just go about dropping groceries on people's door and these are people they know for sure that they will need it you don't just do that it has to be probably neighbors or you know maybe you already know that person <laughs> even if the person has grocery before the fact that you brought it, yes, the fact that you brought it, you brought it to the door, it's, it, um, how do I put it, like myself, I'm planning to do some crafts, we, we have some craft video already, I'm going to do it with my children, that is what we are planning to do for this December, because I have never done that before, so I'm going to be doing that, and I'm going to be placing those beautiful notes or cards or greetings or you know best wishes we're going to be placing it at the doors of all our neighbors because here is more like um it's more like a town home and we have so many neighbors so i'm gonna we're gonna be doing that as many neighbors that we can reach we just put it at their door wishing them well because you don't know what people are going through you see everyone is smiling every like me i smile a lot i i greet people a lot but the fact that I do that doesn't mean I don't have what is hurting my heart. So everyone has something that is, you know, that we are not saying like, like a pain, like a little sharp pain or like something you're not happy about that you're praying to God for. So we all have something we are, we are hoping that God will help us with. So that's it. Let's continue. Prayer. This is another headline. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the streets, on the street corners, to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, 
they have received their reward in full. So I want to talk quickly talk about these parts. Does it mean those who do like uh, those who uh, what do they, uh, like who go about with uh, what's it called? Oh God, those who go about ministering and praying and preaching about the word of God with a megaphone. Yes, that's what I was trying to remember. With megaphone, does it mean they are flaunting or does it mean they are doing it to, to get their own reward? Because I see a lot of people budging on them here in the US. They tell you, oh, you shouldn't, you don't have to do that. You don't have to. But I think it's a, another means of winning souls because that happens a lot in my country. Okay, so let's continue. Now we are in verse 6. He said, but when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and, and pray to your father, excuse me, and pray to your father who is unseen. <clears throat> then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Silent prayers. Heart to heart prayers. A prayer like the prayer of Hannah. Hannah prayed without even moving her mouth. That's a wonderful prayer. So that kind of prayer God wants is, but I know that there is different prayers. There is a prayer you have to raise your voice. Whenever you are commanding the devil, you have to raise your voice. So let's go into another one. He said, and when you pray, do not keep on blabbing like pagans. For they think they will be heard because of their many words. <clears throat> Do not keep saying the same thing all over and over and over and over. Do not be like them. For your father knows what you need before you ask him. Do not be like those pagans who just say the same thing over and over again. This is verse 9. He said, this then is how you should pray. Our father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our debt. As we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptations. But deliver us from the evil one. Verse 14. For if you forgive other people. When, you, when they sin against you. Your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your father will not forgive your sins. Fasting, another headline. <coughs> I love Matthew 6 because this is talking about our day-to-day -day activities as Christians. So it is just, it comprises, you know, of everything that we need. He said, fasting, when you fast, do not look sober as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your father who is unseen. And your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Another headline. Beautiful headlines. Treasures in heaven. I mean verse 19. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth. Where moth and famine destroy. And where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Where moth and famine do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be, will be also. Verse 22, the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. So how about those whose eyes are unhealthy? How about those who have lost their sight? I feel for them. But one thing about God, when a part of your body is messed up, God improvises immediately. So even though 